Everyone coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I have basically the absolute last one from Zen Pop. Go to zenpop.jp, use the coupon code the ramen reader for a discount. Yeah, I've gone through all the Zen Pop ones that I had, so our long uh except for this one. Our long slog through Japanese ramen is currently at an end for now. It'll begin again very soon. But today we've got some gazuntite, 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 gazuntite. We've got some Nissen Asari Donbe Umadashi Curry Udon from Japan. And uh, hopefully it's really good. So it's been a crazy, crazy lately, and I will explain more as we cook. There's that, turn this off, take it off the heat, put a lid on it, and give it five minutes with the bra pilot. Oops. Yeah, the bra pilot. So there you go. Some of these Brand names are really kind of weird for things. Anyway, so what's going on, y'all? So we uh, just got back earlier from the uh, urgent care here. So two nights ago, my daughter was messing around in the bathroom and found the Tide Pods, the little things you throw in the wash. And uh, she didn't eat one. That's like what you always hear. It's like kids eating Tide Pods. It's like, why would they eat them? They're just, she didn't want to eat it. But she wanted to play with it and squish it, which is totally age appropriate. Well, unfortunately, when it popped, the thing went in her eye. And that was... Could you imagine getting concentrated soap in your freaking eye? Oh God, that sounds like it was like one of the most painful things I could imagine. And by the sound she was making, she was not at all happy about the situation. So, called up the poison place, said flush your eye for 15 minutes, let her rest her eyes for an hour. We ended up having dinner that night like at midnight, like, like a minute or two after midnight. But we wanted to make sure, so today we I took her down to the uh, urgent care and had her checked out. And sounds like things are going well, so that's a relief. And wow, it's getting awful kooky outside. Awful kooky. We got the uh, guinea pigs, some new digs. Let's have a look at our fine four-footed friends check it out they are moving on up there you go there's Betty hey Betty 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 she's doing her thing over there and I think is anybody else have it now but it's, it's freaking huge. I mean, this is an enormous upgrade. <laughs> They've got like a massive guinea pig compound. But yeah, now we can visit the guinea pigs while they, they feast. Yeah, we're watching you, Betty. I like to watch Betty. It's fun to watch Betty. And also Petunia and Louise. My daughter's right. It's fun to watch the guinea pigs. Yeah, so they uh, looked at her eyeballs and said, hey, it looks like eyeball. Doesn't look all that funny. They put like a, I, I wasn't sure how she'd do with it. Just knowing how I am with any eye junk. The doctor, nice lady, she put a little dip in the corner of her eye and told her to look around a bunch to spread it. And then they use a black light to see if there's any like funk going on. She didn't see any, so I guess things are well. And uh, then, stupid me, we go over to the uh, pharmacy to pick up some uh, special antibiotic eye drops, just in case. The lady, like, scolds me. She's like, it takes two hours for it to be ready. You bet. Yeah, I did, 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 did. I'm like, oh, come on. 
Like, I figured it'd be ready. I apologize. It wasn't ready. They're never ready. It's like when you get go to a grocery store pharmacy, it always seems like to me, oh, okay, that'll be ready in about 15 minutes. You can go do any shopping you want. And it's like, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I swear there's a pharmacy conspiracy to make you go shopping and then they'll actually do something. I mean, I've, I've gotten notifications that I've got a prescription ready and it's been like two days and I go in there, oh, we'll have it ready in 15 minutes. Like, whatever. Anyways. So yeah, yeah. That's about that, we walked down there, came back. Man, it looks like it's just gonna do all sorts of stuff outside. I have a feeling we're gonna have like a thunderstorm roll through. That'd be kind of cool for the show. Thunder and lightning. I made something new for this particular thingy. All right, so let's commence to add the stuff, and I'm actually going to use, now this is the thing, I'm doing three today, but you will only see the first, they'll see one, what you're like watching today, and you'll see the second one tomorrow, but the third one is very time sensitive. It's a limited edition one that probably, I'm, I'm gonna get it all ready and I'm gonna post it tomorrow, but if you look it up, oh, what episode will it be? Gosh. It'll be the one that, if you really want to watch it, it'll be the episode that came out April 27th. I think today's the 26th. Yeah. So you will see it tomorrow in my time land, but in your time land, it's like, what, July 2020th by now? So, so what you do, it'll be review number, oh, no, it won't. Crud. Yeah. You'd have to look up, uh, it is a Nissen product, so I guess I can say that during this one. It's Nissen Fish Head Curry Cup Noodles. So if you go to the ramenrader.com and look that up, you'll find it. Because it will be out. There's an unboxing, everything. It's really going to be cool. I, I actually made an ingredient for that, which this I'm gonna use that ingredient in this for the first time ever, but the first one to be published using that ingredient will be that one that has to get backdated. Does that make sense? No, I don't care. So this is a curry. It's got, where's some of that? Don't hide tofu, or that's not even, is it tofu? No, it's tofu. Kind of a, I'm getting kind of a smokiness off of this, which is interesting. I wasn't expecting that. It mentioned a spiciness and it's like, here, let's give you an eyeful. There's some of the broth action. Mmm, kickboxing guinea pigs. They've been fighting over the water dispenser. It's like they go over there and it's like, yeah, just take turns. But oh, oh, that's right, you're rodents. <laughs> They're like, ah. Wow, it's getting really dark outside. I expect a torrential downpour very shortly. I mean, it's April and we're just north of Seattle, so that's very par for the course, but wow. So here's the, the best product. Wow. Now, for the ingredient that I've never used before in an instant noodle, we have, what's that? This is fried eggplant. 
And I've never really had any eggplant I've been really into. But I'm gonna tell you right now, fried eggplant, wow, game changer. I'm really stoked on it, it's really good. All I did was take a little bit of cooking spray and a little bit of Maggie seasoning and just kind of stir fried it for a minute or so and it's it's yummy. I will be the first to say that it's totally yummy and I like I like that. I might think about moving it around too. I'll do two slices. I don't know. I, I think I think I'm gonna have that be like the centerpiece of the enjoyables. Wow, it's like getting cold. Yeah, I think we got a thunderstorm on the way. It did say possibility of storms today, but it said that so many times recently and we haven't gotten nothing. What it'll probably do is the possibility of storms will go right over us and over into the east side, which is like Bellevue, Redmond, Redmond Capital, or, or a home of Microsoft. Yeah, I live next to two interesting corporate things. Next to the city, nearby the city rather, not really next to. The city where Microsoft lives and uh, Kirkland. So you might go to uh, Costco. Well, they have Kirkland brand stuff in Costco and it's named after Kirkland, Washington, which is right within walking distance, really, if you like to walk a lot, which I do. But I, I've only like walked there a couple times. But yeah, there's our curry udon with fried uh, eggplant. So enjoy. So cool, thanks for watching. Um, this next one you're gonna see is from Ramen Express by Chef Wu. I'm expecting good things out of this. This is their vegetarian soy sauce ramen. So this is a shoyu. Their stuff usually is pretty darn good. So yeah, it'll be the next episode of It's Noodle Recipe Time. Thank you for watching. Have a good one and enjoy your noodles every day. Have a good one. Bye 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 bye